What is metacognition? What does it have to do with academic success, career success, and personal success? Metacognition rests in the center of academic, career, and personal success. We've long accepted that knowledge is power. However, in this new era of education, all stakeholders want to see stronger evidence that school outcomes explicitly and directly contribute to work and life accomplishments. Metacognition is the element that turns knowledge into a superpower, elevating all areas of our lives. Before delving into metacognition, let's first clarify what academic work is to better appreciate metacognition's profound role in it. So what is academic work? Academic work is a subcategory of knowledge work where knowledge serves as the main input into the work, the primary means of achieving the work, and the major outcomes of the work. When students engage in academic tasks, such as studying, reading, attending class, working with academic helpers, researching, writing, and projects, they are using knowledge as the input, the means of achieving the work, and the ultimate outcome of the work. Here is a simplified formula to remember. Inputs plus processing equals outcomes, the IPO formula. Here are some elements of the formula. Some of the inputs of academic work are background knowledge, class content, and supplemental sources. To process that information, students must use their cognitive skills, mental operations, or work sequences. The outcomes of their processing are new knowledge, specific answers to questions, generic knowledge about the field, and so forth. Because the processing aspect of academic work is hidden and knowledge is used during all phases, assisting students who have had problems doing academic work is like trying to identify which drop of water caused a ripple in a pond. Once the water is in motion, it's nearly impossible to discern where it started or ended. Similarly, in academic work, once students generate the wrong quality of knowledge or outcome, it's difficult to pinpoint whether the problems stem from the inputs, improper processing, or the wrong conceptions of the outcomes. Often issues such as a lack of background knowledge, time management, or apathy are cited as reasons for poor academic performance. However, these widely held conclusions are not only incorrect, but they are also unhelpful because they lead to ineffective solutions while not addressing the core problem. So let's summarize what we've learned about academic work before moving forward. Number one, when students do academic work the right way, they improve their core knowledge and work skills, which gives them advantages in future education, careers, and personal aspects of their lives. Number two, academic work involves using knowledge as the input, processing, and outcomes of the work. Because knowledge is used in all aspects of academic work, determining the source of academic problems is the most challenging aspects of the work. 